ISO 20000 again makes a, a significant point with regards to implementing systems whether the system that you're implementing is purely a hardware based one or whether it's a software related one it's how does that system get implemented what happens the release management process covers that the release management process is there to ensure that every aspect of the uh, implementation process which may be uh, design which may be uh, quality assurance which may be final sign off by a customer through user acceptance so all of these aspects are carried out before the um, whatever's being released goes live equally the release process should be presented with evidence of capability or to go live not uh, be very careful when you're implementing this clause that you are not going into the release process with a gut feel or I think it works but you can't do that here. Release management um, section 10 it's the last section of the standard and as probably people implement systems and standards it's the last thing they look at doing. Release management needs to probably be the first it's actually releasing something into a live environment and everything that you work up towards that release is the end. They have to have all the checks, everything put in place, anything that they need to implement, all the people, all the communication, everything has to be done before release. So really release needs to really be at the beginning. They need to know what they want to release first and then go through all the processes first to make sure that they've got everything they need before they actually say, here's a system and here's a service.